The Buffalo Bills were clearly missing their smurf last year after the signings of Jamison Crowder, Cole Beasley, John Brown. A lot of players here trying to play that slot position for the Buffalo Bills. Hey, Bills Mafia, welcome to my channel, Bills News Consolidated. Today's video, we're going to take a look at the wide receiver draft class coming out. I know I've been banging the table here for JSN Jackson Smith, the Jigba. I think is awesome player for Bills Mafia, worthy of even trading up for in this year's NFL draft. And I think the Bills at this point might just have to do that in order to obtain him. We're going to take a look at some other rookie prospects here and why I believe the Buffalo Bills would benefit from bringing in a rookie wide receiver, even still having Khalil Shakir, Gabe Davis there, Isaiah McKenzie as well, and Stefan Diggs. We got to take a look at this wide receiver crew and see who is actually best for the Buffalo Bills. Now, I think the most important factor here for the Bills is to go back to Josh Allen's perfect game. The only quarterback to ever have a perfect game against the Patriots in the playoffs in 2022 absolutely dynamic and you look at the players that Josh Allen had he had an outlet in the slot he had Isaiah McKenzie and he had Cole Beasley he had Stefan Diggs he had Devin Singletary Dawson Knox all catching passes from him even Gabe Davis spreading that football around keeping defenses honest and I think that is a facet of this Buffalo Bills offense that we surely missed in 2022. The Buffalo Bills tried to address it with Jamison Crowder, right? Emmanuel Sanders was also another wide receiver that caught a pass in that Patriot game for the Bills. So the Bills, I mean, how can we replicate that? And really, Gabe Davis is playing that Emmanuel Sanders role on the perimeter on the outside. We had Isaiah McKenzie then. We have him now. But we don't have Cole Beasley. We don't have Cole Beasley type wide receiver. And that Smurf type wide receiver that the Buffalo Bills desperately need at the slot. It makes a lot of sense here when you look at all the wide receivers coming out, looking at a wide receiver that is great in the slot position. Now, the downside to having a wide receiver that is great at playing the slot, usually they are a little bit smaller in size. They are a Cole Beasley height and weight. They're prone to maybe a little bit more injuries, and they don't really have a ceiling on playing on the outside. But that's not necessarily a bad thing for the Buffalo Bills because we can find that type of wide receiver later in the draft. The reason why draft picks go so high in the NFL draft is because they have everything to them, right? They have the frame. They have the weight. Uh, they're durable. They, since they're, they have that size, they're durable prospects. They can do a little bit of everything, right? There's not as much risk to that position. That's why Jackson Smith Najigba is a great, perfect, flawless wide receiver for the Buffalo Bills. He's six foot one, 200 plus pounds. He could do a little bit of everything. But again, the Buffalo Bills will definitely likely have to trade up for him, which could make sense since we are in a cap space crisis here. It could consolidate picks, save some money. But if the Bills aren't able to obtain Jackson Smith and the Jigba, who else is there for the Buffalo Bills? Nathaniel Dell is a guy I'm looking at. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, what about Zay Flowers? Zay Flowers should definitely be there at the 27th overall pick. My problem with Zay Flowers is that he really just didn't create a lot of space with his route running. He utilized more of his speed to create space. And you look at the conference that he's in. His quarterback had so much time. It wasn't under pressure, giving him more time to create space with his speed. It wasn't that he was a great, crispy, shifty route runner. You know, a guy like Nathaniel Dell, they utilized just getting the ball in his hands, utilizing the run after catch. Um, ability that Brandon Bean even spoke about during the NFL Combine. We need guides with run after the catch. JSN maybe lacks that top uh, speed that everyone wants from a top prospect wide receiver, but he's shifty. He reads and feels defensive backs. He could break away and make moves, his stutter steps, his jukes, his spin moves, right? These are all all things that make you great at run after the catch. Nathaniel Dell lacks the size, five foot eight, 165 pounds. You know, risk of getting injured because of his lack of size, but played in all 17 consecutive games. He's from New Jersey, right down the street here from Buffalo. I think he would fit right in. I think, honestly, he is the best 
run after the catch ability out of any wide receiver in this year's NFL draft, and that's including Jackson Smith and the Jigba. I really think the Buffalo Bills would benefit from another Smurf at the slot. We need another guy at the slot position. Now, again, that problem is that they're not likely never going to progress to a perimeter wide receiver. It's so hard to see five foot eight to five ten wide receivers to be great on the perimeter. And yes, there are those types in the NFL, like say Deshaun Jackson. He did it at one point, but it's so hard. Those are very far and in between prospects and players that are able to do that. And to say that Zay Flowers is able gonna gonna be able to make that transition. I think it's just a little bit too rich at 27th overall to select the Zay Flowers. You know, if he drops in the draft, maybe selecting him a little bit later would make a little bit of sense. But I just feel the Buffalo Bills need to definitely address this slot position. And the proof is there that Brandon Bean and Ken Dorsey in this offense, we desperately need another Smurf. Ken Dorsey, what, what are you doing? Make a move here for somebody. Maybe the Bills decide to bring back Cole Beasley. And, I mean, look at it. Jamison Crowder went down with an injury last year, earlier in the year. You know, Josh Allen, Jamison Crowder were really never on firing on full cylinders. They're still feeling each other out. And I think one mistake we had was that Brandon Bean was a little bit complacent bringing in another player. We assumed Isaiah McKenzie was going to fill that role and be that dual purpose wide receiver out of the slot for Bills Mafia, but he proved he's not. And we still have Isaiah McKenzie to do his role. Again, that perfect game from Josh Allen. He threw to Stephon Diggs, Emmanuel Sanders, Gabe Davis, Isaiah McKenzie, Cole Beasley, Devin Singletary, and Dawson Knox. I mean, these are the guys that we need. Why not go right back to that? The Bills are not able to find Cole Beasley or re-sign Cole Beasley. I think it makes a lot of sense to find it in this year's NFL draft. And now the problem that we lost Isaiah Hodgins is because he didn't contribute on special teams. And I believe this wide receiver that we could bring in could easily contribute on special teams, especially knowing that Naeem Hines is definitely going to be here and he should develop more of an offensive role for the Buffalo Bills, even lining up at wide receiver at times, getting more carries out of the backfield. The reason we saw Naeem Hines returning kicks last year was because the, he even stated the offense seemed like Chinese to him. He had to get used to this playbook. So let me know what you guys think. If we miss out on Jackson Smith and the Jigba, or if the Buffalo Bills are not able to crank out a trade up for Jackson Smith and the Jigba, I'm passing on Zay Flowers. Let me know in the comments if you're passing on Zay Flowers. What about... Uh, Nathaniel Dell, how would he fit with the Buffalo Bills? Make sure you guys let me know in the comments. If you disagree too, just let me know. I'm cool with it. Hit like, subscribe for future content. We're going to be breaking down so much more here. All the ways the Buffalo Bills can save money in the next video here. We're going to consolidate things with draft picks, free agents, restructures. So I'll check you guys soon. Go Bills. Peace.